Hey guys, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. So I have the MacBook Pro here. If you couldn't tell, I don't know. I'm going to be unboxing it on camera for you guys. So today I'm going to be unboxing the MacBook Pro and then I'm also going to be customizing it and showing you guys some little hacks and how to customize your MacBook Pro. I'm going to put timestamps down below. So if you want to skip to like the customization part, you can skip to that. This is like the new one. I literally just bought it and I had to buy it for college, obviously like I need a laptop. I've never had a MacBook Pro or anything like that. I have had a Mac desktop, which I have, it's upstairs and I literally use it all the time. Like I literally love my Mac desktop so much. I've had it for a, like, a couple years now and I love it, but I need to get a laptop. I'm going to be opening this for you guys. I'm so excited. If you guys didn't know, Apple right now is having a little like deal you buy a macbook you get free airpods i'm pretty sure so i got free airpods but i gave them to my sister not sponsored by apple or anything like that i wish and i thought why not just unbox it on camera and also i'm going to customize it and make it look super cute okay so we're gonna open this up let me put it close to the camera so you guys can see Ooh. so i have the mac okay you can't even see it so I got like the most basic color. I think I got the space gray one. Here we have the little charger. Here's also the little like thing for the chargers, everything that comes in here. I have the laptop here and we're gonna set it up. Oh my gosh, I got so scared. I thought something was wrong with the screen. I'm gonna zoom in like to this. I'm gonna put the- To use English as the main language, press the return key. Okay, I'm going to put the camera on this so you guys can see it better. I'm just going to screen record my screen so you guys can see everything. I'm going to start off with the easiest things that you might know already just to help you clean your Mac and make it more efficient. A lot of people always keep their dock really messy and filled with a bunch of apps. So I just like to always take the apps that I don't use and remove them by just dragging them to the middle of the screen. Like podcasts I don't need. Um news i don't need on my dock a lot of these i don't ever really need on my dock i just keep like the ones that i use and then they'll just go back into the launch pad a lot of these i don't like having on my dock because i don't like it when it's all messy i just like it when there's a very few apps so i think those are the, all the apps that i really need on here and if you want to change the size of your dock um you could just click Hold this and then just drag the dock to make it bigger or as small as you want. I like mine to just be like in the middle. You can also get rid of your dock by going to system preferences and then go to dock. And then you have a bunch of buttons right here and you can pick any ones that you want. Like you can do automatically hide and show the dock, but I like mine to always be showing. It's just easier for me to access everything. But there's a bunch of other things. You can also make it smaller or larger here. Also change the position of it if you want. I like it on the bottom. Also, one thing for me that is super important is when I'm on websites, like, let's just go on YouTube for now. I love when the bar is showing on the side. Like this bar here, I love when it's showing, but right now it goes away. So I'm going to keep it. I know you could just scroll with like your fingers, but I just like um, for it to be right there. So for that, you can just go to system preferences and then go to general and then do show scroll bars um, always. You could do when scrolling or one of these. You could do whatever you want. As you can see, the scroll bar is always here. Also, when you go to system preferences and you hit general, you can also change it to dark mode if you want, light mode. I like mine on light mode. Also, you can change the accent color. So, so if you like go up here, as you can see, it's dark blue but you can actually change the accent color so you can make it pink if you want. As you can see, it's pink now. Orange, green, yellow, um, a bunch of different things. You can do any one to like match your aesthetic. I like to use the gray one, it's called graphite. I don't know, I'm basic, but yeah. And then you can also change the highlight color. So, so as you can see, when you're highlighting something, it's gray right now. Um, I think manually it's blue. You can change it to any color you want, so. If you highlight something, like right now, mine is purple. I like the purple, I'm gonna keep the purple, but usually I'd go for the gray. Those are just some basic things. So that was accent colors, highlight colors, everything like that. So those were some of the basic things. And now I'm gonna go into a couple more detailed things like icons for folders, desktop wallpaper. 
but now I'm gonna show you guys how I make my background. So I love having cute desktop wallpapers that inspire me and are super cute. So like this is not gonna cut it for me. I don't know like what this little rock is little islands i don't know but i don't like it i'm gonna show you guys how to make a really easy and cute wallpaper so all you're going to do is go on safari for this you can use any app you want you can use canva pick monkey you have to pay for um so you can use that if you have that you can also do it on your phone on fonto or any editing app and then just airdrop it i'm just gonna do it on canva just because it's free and i want to show you guys something easy that all of you guys can do the touch id is like so clutch because I don't have to type my password or anything, so that's nice. So you're just gonna go to custom dimensions and then search up how big your screen is. Okay, so here you'll get all the dimensions. I think it's this, create new design. And then you'll have like a little page made up. So then literally all you're gonna do is you can change the color of the canvas. And then I'm gonna go onto Pinterest and look up a bunch of images on Pinterest that you wanna use. You can also go on Google. But okay, so I'm on my account and now I'm gonna look up any aesthetic you want. So you can look up like a color or just aesthetic photos. I found a bunch of pictures from my little collage that I'm making. It actually took me so long. By the way, I'm just gonna show you guys something. If you go on Pinterest, I know you can copy and paste them, but I just drag them to my desktop because it's easier for me. And you could just look up anything you want and then just drag it to your desktop and then just drag everything right into here. And this is what I have so far. I think that looks so cute. To save this, we're just going to go to download PNG. So now we're just gonna go to system preferences desktop and screensaver and then you could just drag your little image in the box and then you have the cutest wallpaper i think it is so cute and the last thing i'm going to show you guys is how to customize your folders so you're going to go to file new folder and then you got like this like blue one i just don't like this color so we're going to change the color so just click on it and then go to file get info and then make sure you have the preview app open and then you're going to go to here and you're going to just copy this go to edit copy and then when you have the preview app go to file new from clipboard so this is going to open up and then what you're going to do is you're just going to uh, make sure this is clicked Go to this little tool right here and then press the little triangle to adjust the color and then you'll have this and you can change the exposure saturation you can also change the contrast highlights all this stuff so you can just play around with it to make any color you want so then when you're done with this you're just going to select it all and then just go to edit select all you can drag it or go to edit select all then you're just going to go to edit and copy Go back here, press the little folder icon, and then just do edit, paste. And then the new folder is going to go in there. And then you have the folder, the changed color, and you can name it anything you want. The last thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is to put icons as your folders. So you can like change the folder color or you can put an icon as your folder. Basically, you can find any image and it must be a PNG. So I just went on PicMonkey and I went to graphics and then I want to do like an iced coffee icon. So I just looked up food and drink and then I just found the iced coffee and I made my canvas um, transparent by just going to edit background color and then opening this and doing a transparent background if you guys want something easier you can just look up anything you want um for example butterfly png butterfly png images and to make sure it's a png or to make sure it's transparent you can go to tools and then color and do transparent for example like this one would work and then you can just drag this to your desktop but I'm using my little iced coffee one, so I'm just going to download this. And you're going to go to a new folder. You're going to go to File, New Folder, and then go to File, Get Info. So have that open, and then open this, and do Command A, so that selects it. So Command A, and then Command C. And then you're just going to click on this little folder icon, and do Command V. 
and then you have your little icon you could do like any icon that you want so that is it for my little customization tips i hope that helped you guys i kind of went over i think all of it um a lot of the things you can just go to system preferences for and then figure out from there i just want to show you guys the touch bar quickly because i think it's so cool so like basically there used to always be a button for all these things like for the brightness and volume and stuff but now it's just on the touch bar and also when you go on websites websites will come up on the touch bar which is so cool so for volume you can literally just press it and then like scroll same with the brightness you can just make it brighter and you can unlock your laptop with the little fingerprint scanner thing which is so cool so if i sleep then i can literally just press my finger here and it unlocks my laptop which oh my gosh that took me so long to film i don't know why but i basically customized everything and i hope that really helped you guys out and if you found it helpful please give it a like it would really help me and my channel and also make sure to subscribe i really hope you guys like this video thank you guys so much for all the support on my recent videos it means so so much to me thank you guys again and i'll see you guys in my next video bye